Jesus brings the circumcision not made with hands. Not the physical circumcision, but the circumcision of the heart. Colossians 2.11 says, In whom, in whom, in Jesus, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. So in Christ, we're circumcised by the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So what's the circumcision that we are concerned with in the New Testament? Circumcision of Christ. Not a physical circumcision. The Bible says he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Listen to that verse again. He is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. You know what that means? That's not circumcision. Somebody says, I'm circumcised. You believe in Christ? No, that's not circumcision. You're not circumcised. You're uncircumcised. Why? Because circumcision is not that circumcision that's outward in the flesh. God looks at that and says, that's not circumcision. Circumcision is that of the heart and in the spirit, the Bible says. Paul told the Philippians, and guess what? Philippi is not in Israel. Okay? Philippi is in Macedonia, what we would know today as northern Greece. He tells the Philippians in chapter 3, verse 3, We are the circumcision, which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. We're the circumcision. I'm the circumcision tonight. You're the circumcision tonight. You say, well, you don't understand, Pastor Anderson. I'm not circumcised. Well, guess what? If you're in Christ, you're circumcised. You're circumcised. Why? Because it's the circumcision of Christ. The circumcision is not made with hands. In Christ, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avail anything. Folks, physically, it doesn't matter if you're circumcised or not. It's the circumcision of Christ that matters. So both Jesus and Joshua, they both circumcised the people. Because look at Joshua 5, verse 3. And Joshua made him sharp knives and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of the foreskins. Thank God for the New Testament. Amen? <laughs> But back in Joshua's day, circumcision was done with a sharp knife. Joshua made him sharp knives and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of the foreskins. Did Joshua circumcise people? Yes, he did with a sharp knife. Okay, did Jesus circumcise? Yeah. Because we're in him, we're circumcised, right? The circumcision not made with hands. 